Hey folks, it's John P with Texas Metalworks. Listen, we wanted to share with everybody this ridiculous tool, okay? So uh, we, we went ahead and took the risk on a $200 plasma cutter on Amazon. And we're gonna share the results with you right now. Okay, this is the Cut 50. I'll put a link down in the notes. Uh, this is a 50 amp plasma torch. Um, it's got a basic ground cable here, which we've got grounded currently down here. It's got uh, a red and black, you know, control cable and something else, arc, arc starting cable, I suppose. And then it's got the torch, which we've got hanging over here. We'll look at that in a minute. On the back of this unit, very simple, but it's got a little uh, air filter regulator. The air filter regulator has three connections instead of two. We've got in incoming air from the shop. This air is going out to the torch. And then this little orange tube is the one that lets you see the pressure up here in the front. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna cut these uh, little sections out of these I-beams, H-beams. Uh, uh, this is approximately maybe three eighths of an inch thick material. And that's it, let's see what happens. Austin, show us how it works. Now there's one interesting thing that, that neither Austin or I here discovered, but one of our other guys who has patience discovered. Uh, Austin's gonna cut this little arc out of this uh, piece. And sometimes in order to get the torch to actually fire you can wait up to like 10 seconds all right let's see what happens It's not, it's not going to give you like the edge quality of, let's say, a hypertherm unit. But then again, it literally costs one-tenth as much. So, uh, I don't know what to say. Run out and get yourself one of these $200 plasma torches. Enjoy and subscribe for more of these.